Hello everyone, welcome back to my RP2000 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I've made a few changes to Station 1, our Earth orbit station under, under construction. I added some food and water to it, and I think that's about it. I just thought that it needed some more, and I didn't want to carry all the supplies with the links. And so it has that. It also has some bonus lithium hydroxide, though I don't think um, TAC Life Support even deals with that. So anyway, but it's better to have it for legitimacy's sake. And... Um, uh, we are also now building in the second slot the Lynx Neo that has to visit it because, of course, the first space station contract doesn't just require a station. It also requires us to bring two crew to it, have them stay for 30 days and then return home all within the time limit that we've got. So we are building that and it'll be done in reasonable time, I think. And so that's that. We'll just have to wait for those. So we'll just move on to doing the maneuvers for the orbiters and I think they are going to arrive at Mars before we actually have to deal with the station so let me get to that okay well this one only has a one meter per second change so uh, just turning to the node from the Sun is already altering it quite a lot so I don't know if we're gonna do this accurately and still turn back to the Sun but let's see Oh, uh, no, 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 don't follow the, don't follow it. Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll just probably have to correct it when we get there. <laughs> this is, this is gonna be too much. All right, it, it's fine for now. Okay, uh, just go back pointing at the sun. It's okay, we'll fix it when we get there. Okay, so, yeah, I'll just make a node for that. Okay, well, anyway, that's that, and it can just spin. And it continues. Next. Well, this one's even worse. <laughs> so, 0.3 meters per second. Yeah, that's... That's too ambitious for a mid-course correction here. It's never gonna stop trying to follow that. Okay, okay, we'll just do a maneuver in Mars SOI. It'd be nice to only spend 0.3 on it. But not practical. Okay. So we'll call that set. Next. Well, this one's a healthier burn, if you will. But that's not actually where we want to go. So we need to change that quite a lot. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. All right, all right. Just point at the sun. Pretty nice, though. I mean, 80 meters per second we're paying, though. It would be a trivial amount of... Delta V from here, but too touchy. Okay, that's set up. Second to last one now. Just gonna set kill rotation this time. Much safer. Okay, but still have to go towards the sun. This one, interestingly, cannot get perfectly in line with the target orbit. But it's a goo one, so wasn't meant to particularly do the position a satellite in a spe special orbit or a stationary orbit of Mars. It was meant to do the orbital survey. So that's fine. Okay, last one. I decided to actually try the science with this one and we haven't actually done the magnetometer scan from around the sun. So doing that and the radio plasma wave scan. And I guess some visual observations. Okay, but this one has a big old burn to do. Well, compared to the others anyway. Seems like the plan is right. Actually using the engines for this one. Okay. Uh, turning to the sun. And then I'll get a correction over there. Uh, let's wait until it settles. And this will be the first to arrive. Okay, but before we take care of those five arriving at Mars, we have to do the mid-course correction with the Jupiter mission. Hopefully it's still capable and not like out of power or something. Ah, not actually a mid-course correction, my mistake. This is a maneuver when we're getting into Jupiter SOI to make sure that our positioning is good once we reach there, so it does seem like it has a line back, but it's getting red there. We'll see. 
70 more days until it arrives into Jupiter SOI. Okay, as usual, we have to orient better for sunlight. We can do some science. Magnetometer. So we've got science high over Jupiter. I should have picked up the Jupiter flyby thing, but I didn't. I didn't. Do we need to do a correction? Well, I mean, specifically no, because we don't have the contract. But... Maybe... We should demonstrate that we can do the contract. And maybe get some science out of the moons. But we only have 466, so we have to be careful. Okay. We will do this. There was supposed to be a potential, like, Callisto flyby on the way in, but I don't think I'm gonna hit that now. That's a little bit off from the plane of all the moons. And if we're talking about the barest of bear captures, we can do it. Let's turn to the sun, though. We're going ah, uh, it's all gone haywire. Anyway, we'll plot that once we get to uh, to periapsis. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just barely enough to maybe capture around here. Let's give ourselves maybe six hours before that to pay attention to it. I don't know how good our line back will be. Maybe it'll be good enough. But we've got some science already. So we'll see what else it can do. Alright, so here we are. First probe arriving. And ignition. Yep, can't use that. Ignition. Alright. That should set us up fine. And now we have to see about capture. But last time we lost communication, and it sure looks like at periapsis we're going to have the same trouble. So, I'm going to do the capture burn earlier, even though it's going to be not great. And we're going to have to do a bit of a radial thing. Going to try and get it in line and everything. Okay, so that will leave us with a periapsis outside the atmosphere, and it's over here, so it shouldn't be blocked by Mars. Let, uh, well, we seem to be charging up, though... That's not the best orientation for that. Comms are fine, but this still has, like, the Jupiter-level comms. Let's get some science. Maybe I shouldn't do this here, but... Oh, the orbital science survey parameters were complete for... Oh, that was one of the parameters, right? So, it doesn't matter that we do it all with the same mission, I guess. Oh, it says conduct an orbital survey of Mars is done. I thought I needed a goo. <laughs> I could have sworn it needed a goo. Now, I didn't deal with the D-Magic orbital science contract, so... It's not my fault. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know why it completed. I don't understand the contract system very well. Oh well, that says I'm done. Yeah. Not great trying to create... I, just, I know what I want from a career mode, it's just that nobody's gonna make it for me, so I have to deal with the fact that I'm not good at the contract system. Well, one of the CubeSat batteries had a short circuit on here? Yeah, okay. Uh, if we stay focused on it, it's going to have more of those failures. Unfortunately, our burn is right when the other one's coming in. But we'll get this one done first. Okay, yeah, that one is coming in. I'll just leave that alarm for now. Definitely a legit probe. Yep, new science, because we're near Mars. Okay, ignition. That's probably more than good enough capture. Yeah, we don't need it all the way down there just yet. Okay, we have captured into orbit. And we could try to get into this higher orbit, so we might as well. Looks like a good match. So I'll plan that out. 
we can knock that out, it'll save us a lot of trouble, and we can focus on getting extra signs from Phobos and Deimos with the other probes. But we also have to locate it right above a certain location. Okay, so I'll add that alarm, and we'll focus on it in four days, but let's get to this mission arriving. Oh, well, well, it's pretty well oriented for sunlight right now, so I don't think I need to do anything with that. We'll just leave that be. Okay, correction. And this should get to periapsis before we have to deal with the next one. Doing the same capture deal a little bit earlier. And we'll still prep for that target orbit, I guess. Though this one, this one would have a hard time with that. Either way, they're going to have an interesting time trying to get to Phobos or Deimos. Maybe the two later ones, or three later ones, will be better for that. I'll take that for now. Again, a little bit earlier than Periapsis, not quite as efficient, but for comm's sake. Okay, there's Mars. Let's go. Don't think we can do anything new. Oh, no, the... Overall telescope is surface biome dependent, so we did get something there. And ignition. Okay, we've captured. And that's good enough for now. Definitely. I actually lowered in the last one. Still out of the atmosphere. And we'll plot the same kind of thing, but, I mean, it's fine to set it up like that, because we've already fulfilled the goo thing, and the goo thing actually didn't care where we were going. And we probably want this as a commsat. The other three, we'll think about getting to Phobos and Deimos. We'll do a correction for them when we get inside Mars SOI for that. So, uh, that will be an initial burn for this one. And I'll get that alarm. Okay, back to the first one we captured so that we can see if we can fulfill the stationary orbit of Mars contract. Well, somehow this ended edge on to the sun, even though I definitely left it pointing at it. I'd like it to remember the sun fixed orientation more than anything else. If I mean, I'm sure it remembers some orientation, but that's the orientation that I want. Is a thousand meters per second gonna be enough? Okay, so yeah, what is it going to take to get down to that orbit? Oh, uh, okay, delete on close. It disappeared on me. What? No, it's still there, there, but it's not showing me the orbit. Um, well, we can look at that, I suppose. And in zero degree inclination. Right now we're at a 1.3, so we'll have to tweak that a little bit. And we have to be above an area that's not even showing me anymore. What, what is it trying to do to me? Hold on, let me go to, let, let me add this alarm, but I'll go to the tracking station and come back and see if it's going to show me that, that orbit and that location. Otherwise we're going to have some problems around here. Okay, it's showing it to me. Yes, it is. All right, good. Keep doing that. But we might not want to circularize right here. It depends on where that location is when we get there. But I'll adjust once we get to periapsis. Okay, the backup one, we will take care of that first. This has somewhat less capability to get to the target orbit, though. Just less delta V. I think we went a little bit too low there. This will actually get to periapsis first. Okay, <laughs> the other one's in a higher orbit and a longer orbit, so... Let me just, uh, let me just point this at the sun. I guess we'll try it. Again, depends on where the surface location is. Okay, there's that location. 
this is not going to be directly above. So we'll want to go into a slightly slower orbit. Hmm, we're also a little bit low on this side. Does that look like two hours? I don't know how precise they want me to be. Got two goo containers over here. Well, might as well transmit the stuff from one. Okay, ignition. Uh oh. Ignition failure on one of them. Well, that's actually alright. We actually have a trash part option too, if we want it. I guess USI must have added that. I don't know what else could have added that. This is why we had three engines in the first place. Okay, this is just sort of an estimate sort of deal. Need to boost up there to try and match that orbit. Inclination-wise, we're within one, so hopefully that's okay. Okay, well, uh, at Apoapsis, we'll do that a little bit, but we need to go back to the other one and see how that's going. Oh, oh and how's the sunlight? Sunlight's very good. Okay. Well, this one is off by quite a lot. And maybe we'll just stagger it and plan for it to be just a comm set and have the other one do the main deal. The other one has a tighter delta V situation, so you'll see. Ignition. Seems like that's a third of the way through, so if we give this an extra four hours, eventually it'll catch up. Okay, so this will be in a somewhat higher orbit. Then even the other one, and we'll leave it be. It's currently pointing at the sun, but it's tough to say what orientation it'll end up with. Okay, but it's situated. Let's go to the other one and try to fill the contract with that, and then use this as backup. 65 meters per second is not a lot. I swear we had more, but that should be okay. I'm just gonna let it flop, how about that? Seems alright. I don't want to use extra fuel, that's all. Seems just about over it. Don't know how precise they need this thing to be. I'm gonna guess that that's okay. But it probably has to send me a message like you are over the target. Well, it's checkmarked that though, okay. So we'll trust that that's okay. We just need that retro. Okay, gotta try and get it over there. Not using too much fuel. All right, ignition. Is it really satisfied? No, it isn't. Okay, now it's satisfied. Maintaining stability. And it is done. Okay. So, as far as Mars con is concerned, the next thing is to get science from the surface. Which I probably... I mean, I feel like they didn't pay me enough. But, anyway, this is a commsat now. It's facing the sun. We'll have it rotate. The other one will also be a commsat, but in a different position. And I don't, uh, let me just make sure it's rotating and getting sunlight, but I don't think I'm going to try to bring it into a circular orbit around here. And the others are going to aim for Phobos and Deimos. If I turn SAS on, it's going to stop spinning, but I don't know whether it'll hold the orientation, so I'll you know, just try spin orienting and keeping it this way. I don't know which way is best. Maybe SAS would hold it to the sun. That is how the old persistent rotation did it. Okay, I'm going to go to the tracking station and wait the 19 days and we'll bring those two in. And then next time I'll do the Jupiter mission and then that one, but also get them to Phobos and Deimos. But let's get two more orbiters in in this episode. So we need to do something completely different with this node. We need to get to a Phobos slash Deimos sort of situation. 
which will actually cost us less. Oh, I'm doing the capture right at periapsis. No, let's do the same thing we did before. Right, a little bit earlier. And that's costing a lot less because the later arrivals are coming in slower. And since they're coming in slower, they take less delta V to capture. Okay, but we've already passed that maneuver. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, the capture burn for this is after that one comes in. So we should do the correction for that first. Got to juggle these things. All right, hopping to the other Mars orbiter. Darn, I should have numbered them or something. Oh, this one doesn't have enough power. Okay, hold on. We're going to have to reorient it. Okay, it's got the power. Let's go back to that. Okay, I've corrected the correction, so now it's aiming for Phobos and Deimos. And that actually costs more with this one. Time warp is a little bit weird sometimes. And ignition. Okay, let's capture these two. Okay, and ignition. Probably I could have done this much closer to periapsis, but this is all right. It's not costing too much or anything. Okay, this one is captured safely. Our periapsis is not in the atmosphere. Very important to know that. And we'll try to get it into, well, into orbit around one of those two little moons, I think. Yeah, I think we will just park it in orbit around one of them. And I'll just sort of aim for Deimos, I think. But that will be next time. Let's just get the other orbiter into orbit. And here we come. And capture burn. Okay, that is the fourth mission we've captured into orbit around Mars. Two of them are in those high orbits to help with comms. We fulfilled two contracts. I am going to add a little maneuver up there to boost this up to Phobos's orbit, which is not very high. And we'll probably want to change the inclination as well, though that's not the best place for that. So I'll figure that out after we boost up. And I'll add that alarm. And make sure this pointed at the sun. Okay, so next time we'll pick it up with these Mars orbiters and trying to do some science around Phobos and Deimos, then the Jupiter mission getting to its periapsis and trying to capture around Jupiter. And then the final mission, which we really don't need right now, but there'll be an extra commsat. We can always use more commsats around Mars. So that, that'll be that part. And then maybe we'll get to launch the first space station. It depends on how much time all the rest of this stuff is going to take me. So anyway, with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.